Welcome to Arcade Attack. <laughs> A retro gaming podcast for up to four players. Sonic Boom! Welcome back, listeners. It's Adrian here from Arcade Attack, and we have another Best Years in Gaming podcast. Uh, the numbers don't lie. We said this before. They are popular episodes. People love them. They're mm-hmm. lapping them up. I don't know why sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I think the last three, correct me if I'm wrong, we did 1998, mm-hmm. then 1992, <laughs> then 1996. Well, we did those three. Maybe not in that order. Not necessarily in that order, but we it's did hard those all this time traveling, you know, you <laughs> yeah. lose track. Yeah. Man, we did the 90s proper. Um, anyway, before we get into what you were doing today, I better introduce the rest of the the cool squad. Uh, we've got Dilsey. Cool squad, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, bye. Hello. Bye. Hello. <laughs> and of course, James. About as cool as a snake's backside in the desert, but yeah. Hi. <laughs> and you've actually got a Squirtle Squad t-shirt. I was going to say, yeah, I don't know about Cool Squad. I'm Squirtle Squad. Squirtle Squad. Squirtle Squirtle Keith squad. in the house. Yes. Hello. Um, guys, it's really good to see everyone. And we've done the 90s now. We've done the 90s. And everyone's like, oh, we want more 90s. I reckon. That's a big decade. Yeah. Do that another a year. massive in decade. Well, last time we went, went back to 1992, we got a bit seasick, didn't we? We got a bit funny on the time machine. <laughs> so I thought we'd go a little bit, not so back in time. This That's bad bad English, isn't it? We'll go less back in time. <laughs> less back in time. <laughs> We're going to go less back in time. <laughs> Back in time, less. Yeah, we're going. <laughs> I don't remember that on Huey Lewis's album. Not as far back. Not as far That'd back do. because we don't want to get nosebleeds. We, no. just, you know, we just, so so. You ready? Should we get the time machine? Okay. Not the way back. Ooh. Ooh. We're gonna go back. Yeah, stop. Ooh. We're already. Shh. That's we great. made it. We're oh. in two thousand and four. Oh God, two thousand and four. Uh. What were we doing before we get into the gaming spiel? Oh, what were we doing in two thousand and four? This stops oh. being fun now because we were adults in oh, two thousand and four. Right. Yeah. Before it was so, like, oh, we were at school, we were doing it. Oh no, we were adults. I've never been an adult. <laughs> well, <laughs> legally, I'm just trying we're to adults uh, at this point. Oh three, oh three, left uni, mm. uh, and then I was like, I, I, I was like, you, getting one of those, you know, one of those jobs, like kind of in between jobs, like mm. working in a bowling alley or an <laughs> off license or stuff. I did those kind of things. They were quite cool. Did you ever work in a bowling alley? I did. Yeah. I was did like, you get the oh, free you know games? What? I used to be a party host. Oh, wow. The one in nice. Pearly, the one in yeah, you used, to, I used to manage like the parties. It's closed, isn't it? You're yeah. only there for a yeah, bit, but I think there, I, it was a, yeah. it was mental. Like literally a Saturday morning, like it was like fun house. Yeah, and there was arcade machines. Oh, there's loads of arcade machines. Yeah. There's loads of arcade machines. Yeah, even now, like when they've turned it into it's another it's a bowling alley still, but there's loads of arcades there. But it was it was over two floors because Me- Mega Bowl it was Mega Bowl mm-hmm. in um, Valley Park Croydon. For those who know Croydon, that mm-hmm. didn't last long, did it? But it. It was there for a while, believe okay. it or not. Yeah, they had a huge bar, two floors of bowling. I, honestly, mm. it was like it was mental. Like I couldn't do it now; I'd be knackered after about an hour and a half. But mm. it was absolutely crazy. Did people dare you to grab a bowling shoe and sniff it for one minute and see what would happen? Did anyone want to do that to you? Um, Adrian what, what did, you, but you ignored what, it. What you get up to on your private accounts <laughs> online yeah, is entirely what? entirely your... Ooh, you know, it's a good strange that is turn. quite a dare. That is quite a that dare. Is quite a dare James was bowling. I was at uni still. What were you finishing uni that year? I was still, no, because I still did my law degree. Because I? I had to do H&D first, and then I had to do my degree. So I was there till... Because, because of Ali Mobile. Because of Ali Mobile. <laughs> Thanks, Ali Mobile. <laughs> 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 Tell, well, tell, tell. Have we done almost 300 episodes without that coming up? Yeah, tell, tell. So, yeah. Ali oh, Bill, God. <laughs> oh, so yeah. So basically, my parents just nagged me to go to the university. And I was like, oh, I've got to pick something. And I really loved Ali Mobile. So I was like, man, those guys have such a great time. And I, they're like making money and they're just having such a brilliant time. And, you know, I kind of fancied Callista Flockhart for a little bit before she got really waif- like waif- wafer thin. Um, and then that was it. I was like, I just choose this. So I did H and D legal studies. Sorry, can I just, just 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 go back just a little bit? Yeah. You chose a a, a a a degree. Yes. In law. Yes. Because of Ali McBeal. <laughs> yes. That's it, yeah. Duh. I did. I okay, did this. Thanks for clearing that. <laughs> um, I don't put that on my CV. Wait, I did not know what, that. James, what was your favourite show in 2004 and what career, career would that have led to? I'm, I'm interested now. Oh my God. I was still watching like <laughs> cartoons tough question, and stuff, isn't it? probably. probably. I'd end up like a mad scientist watching like Dexter's Laboratory or something. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> or Cow enough. and Chicken. 
<laughs> Cow and chicken. <laughs> so brilliant. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so yeah, the Ali McBeal thing. That was, that was Ali, that. That's impressive. I often think, has There's that much... aged poorly or not, Ali McBeal? It really has. Oh, okay. Let's not watch that. Let's not do a podcast on that. That's... <laughs> yeah, but let's no, be honest, not... a lot of those early 2000s, like... Um, well, that was late nineties. Was it late nineties? Late nineties, actually. Oh, we're kind of we're just goes to show like how like dumb s- the what, system is here. What lasted like, longer? Your... Seventeen year olds don't know what they want to do with their lives. <laughs> like, oh god. Dylan, what lasted longer? Your career in law or the series of Animal Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely oh. Ali McBeal. <laughs> <laughs> I was only a paralegal for half a year, and then I was like, screw this. Did bye. I, I think I got you an opportunity. You got me that. You got me that job pretty much as well. You got me the interview, and then they were just like, oh, you got to hire this guy, and I did it for half a year, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> at least you tried it I did try it Didn't suck like it and it. see suck it and see yep. yeah. I'd left my job at Crystal Palace Football Club no. I thought you were still there no, I was going to say you were still there I'd left ah. after three glorious years <laughs> three glorious years three... says he laughing uh, three... yeah, I, I was mingling with the stars you were and Clint, you were Clint like Morrison Chanton, yeah. 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 Dougie Friedman yeah. helped Dougie Friedman change into his new kit yeah. I saw Dougie Friedman in his pants come on I mean what what, <laughs> what kind of you know those are perks his... of the job yeah. you just can't buy yeah. Yeah. there's a claim you know to what, I've ever heard one. In, in all seriousness I actually think I always liked Clinton Morrison as a striker I always mm. like respect his style of play um, I think it's a bit underrated actually but in my humble, I think he yeah. could have gone into a bigger club. Fair. No, no offense to Palace fans, I think he could have really made it. He's got a lot of goals, top flight. Yeah, um, yeah, he did well at Birmingham, didn't he? Did yeah, pretty well, I think as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he definitely. I'm definitely. a fan. And but like, he's, he's you, you had to a wear a Palace shirt good... for three years. Palace shirt, but my my work uniform was like Palace tracksuit. Oh, you don't oh, understand oh, oh. how painful that was. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. yeah, so then, and then bad, in 2004, it? I left to become. It's more Liverpool. Yeah, quite bad. Oh, it's quite bad. Then. <laughs> it's not as bad as me wearing derby clothes, but <laughs> not quite. I think <laughs> if if I got you that job, I must have been at Day Lewis then, wouldn't I be? Yeah, because you knew someone who knew Gertrude. <laughs> Yeah, who was hot, by the way. Anyway, hot let's go to it. Man, li- listen, this is a pod in itself. Well, hang on, we don't talk about, we the, about? We haven't talked about the oh, yeah. games Anyway, yet. I was oh, working in a call centre phoning up old people trying to sell them stuff. So I was like, yeah. Oh, Do you old people? So that How was many old people So funnily you enough, you talk about favourite TV shows, Peep Show had been on for a couple of years mm. then. And so I was living that out, living in Croydon and in an office job that I hated. So nice, nice. I love it. The dream. Keith Corrigan. Well, I was working at yeah. Day Lewis Pharmacies, and I was literally their marketing department. Yeah, awesome, <laughs> and they're quite big. They're huge. Their marketing budget was tiny, though. They're like, just do a bit of this or that. We haven't got any money for you, but just do what you can. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, it was funny times. Um, look, enough about us. We're back in two thousand and four. I guess when we started to become like adults, right? Mate, arguably, <laughs> grown up. Yeah. No, no. no. Again, never. Legally. Never give in. Do you want to? Do you want me to give you a sort of run through, a quick give blast? me a flavour of two thousand? Man, I'm going to name some games. I think, well, wow, you surely this should have been the first year you covered. You might, think, you might disagree. Oh, it was a good year. It two, was a good year. Two thousand and four. Yep, saw many sequels and prequels in video games, such as Doom Three. Love it. Do we love it? It's, 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 I do. It's the Marmite Doom game, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Whoa, whoa. It's not a Doom 3 podcast, though. Skip on. Don't, <laughs> Fair don't, enough. Don't like it. Uh, Dragon do, Quest. Uh, hey, James don't like Wait, it. Wait, let me, let me look at my rocky numerals here. So Dragon Quest 5, 6, six Dragon Quest 8 came out. Oh. Gran Turismo 4. Yep. Keith loves it. Game. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto. Which one? Uh, Vice City. Uh, uh, San, San Andreas. Andreas. Yes. Oh, yeah. Vice City was the year before, was it? Half-Life 2. 2, which I absolutely adore. Halo Two. two. Oh, this is such a good game. Yeah, oh, mate. Metal Gear Solid 2. 3. three. three. Oh, snake, snake Eater. eater. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Snake Eater. Oh, hey, okay, let's... How would you eat a snake? Snake Eater. Would you fry it? Would you... <laughs> really delicious. Barbecue. Yeah, barbecue, probably. Yeah. Oh, I've eaten snake. Have you? They do it in yeah, Vietnam. Was... I've been... There was... Um... Ugh, when I was travelling in Australia about 10 years ago, I was just some weird hostel in Cairns, uh, and they had like all these like weird stuff to eat and I was like oh there was a bit of like cooked like crocodile and things like oh, that and cool. da, 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 a bit of snake bit and of snake on the barbie I think there was a bit of snake on so the you you are literally living Metal Gear Solid's life yeah snake eater um, crocodile eater th- this doesn't sound like a sequel but I don't know this series very well but Ninja Gaiden is that is that a sequel oh no yeah is that the remake it, oh it'll be the Xbox That's the version. Xbox 360 yeah version. fair dues no, no the Xbox, Xbox version yeah. and we've also got Pokemon Fire Red not no. red yeah. we've got Leaf Green yeah. And Emerald. Were they on Game Boy Advance? Um, I want to say Game Boy Advance. Must be. Oh, four? Yeah. Everybody's Golf 4. Hot Shots. Hey, golf 4. We are, we Game of the Year. Edition, everybody's yeah. Golf. <laughs> yeah, so they. And Prince of Persia, Warrior Within, and 
I guess this is kind of a sequel. It's his own game in its own right, but World of Warcraft. We've got to give that... Oh, 2004. Yeah. Massive. Ma- hey, hey, you're forgetting a massive sequel. Burnout 3, Takedown. A I was going to come to that. Oh, oh he no. does. No. That was going to be mentioned just, later. Stop, stop it. No. I was going to tease. <laughs> tease Sorry. Later. I was going to say, how can you talk about sequel? Just, anyway, but I'm there sure. was new properties too. And we've covered a few yes. of these on the pods. We've cu- So Fable. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Uh, Far Cry. Uh, Never really played. I played no, for 10 minutes of it. Uh, uh, flat out. What? Flat out. I'd rather play flip out on the Jaguar. Flat if you know, out. you know. <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh, no. I, don't want to play. I do know flip out. I don't want to play that. Um, <laughs> I don't know what flat out is. Kill zone? Yes. Yes, yes. kill zone. This oh. is one of my big memories of 04. I so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill zone. It's a sh- FPS. PS2, yeah, yeah, PS2 game. Yeah, it was oh, a brand new. Right, yeah, it was like a tactical shooter, very kind of dark and. Um, yeah, you're basically fighting space Nazis. Yes. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Hellgast. Yeah. yeah. It's, a very it's good, like very good. Wolfenstein in space. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a really good game. Uh, another new game, which I haven't played this one that much, but I played the sequel a lot more, but Katamari Damacy. 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 And I love, we love Katamari, but what a great series to kick things off. Monster Hunter. Wow. You know, I, I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship with Monster Hunter games. I played the, the maybe the third one, the Wii. Uh, I Assume this would have been GameCube. I want to say GameCube. I guess I never 2004. Them. No, I mean, but we found out, didn't we? That, that that's like Capcom's biggest selling series. Madness. Monster Hunter. Uh, N. Huh? N. N. Just a, N. Just N. What's N? Huh? I, I want to say it's the prequel to Z. You know the bit that blows. <laughs> 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 I don't know what N is, but apparently it's, it's, it's big. Red Dead Revolver. I oh, see. I've never played it. Oh, where it started? No, yeah, no, I've never, never played, played it. it. Yes. Sing Star. Amazing. Which yeah. one? Just a sing- sing kick- Oh, just all the things. Still a bit of Sacred. 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 Um, and what big console? I'm going to call it a console. Even though you could argue maybe it isn't. But which big console was also launched in 2004? It is a console. It's a hand- uh, handheld console. Uh, uh, the DS. The DS. Was it 04? 04, apparently. apparently. So maybe those Pokemon 20 20 games were on the 04, DS. But no, I think I've got a feeling ago. I've. I should have done a bit. I've seen my oh, notes. Could have been launched. I games, think it's the it? Japanese launch, yeah. but we'll come to that in a minute. But the DS came out. Okay, I like oh, it. now I'm old. The year. So basically, this year was has, has been retrospectively considered one of the best and most important in video games history, due to the release of numerous critically acclaimed, commercially successful and influential titles across all platforms and all genres. So not just one genre of all time. So you've got something to choose from everywhere then. And just to give you a little teaser, because we're going to move away as soon uh, our games, because you know what I'm like on this, but what was the best-selling game of that particular year? I've mentioned it. You have. Ooh, Halo 2. Oh, San Andreas. Before you go on to that, um, Pokemon Fire Red is a Game Boy Advance game. Uh, Boom. Boom. So it didn't quite make the DS. And that yeah, wasn't the best-selling it. game? San Andreas? San Andreas. Was. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 boy. Yeah, that doesn't surprise I me. I remember, yeah, John John got it, didn't he? And my friend John, and he, he absolutely was obsessed by it and i used to watch him play it i think i might be in a one one sales and park road still f- f- during this 2004 i think this i, I, might I have think moved. you were I think and actually were. i do remember watching john play it just like it's just cycling he likes to cycle around mm-hmm. just like to cycle around yeah. 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 i used so to get good. tattoos i remember going so to, good yeah he, he liked to cycle and get tattoos i didn't i got vice city on launch because I just had to. What um, year was that? Uh, that was Must have been 2004, two, 2003. Yeah. Wait, so that Rockstar um, made t- t- two yeah. two games. And now they've been releasing really ten, yeah. yeah. ten years, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, ten years. Yeah, let's not get onto that. No, no, no. Do, you, do you want to hear some news? What happened in two thousand and four? Yes, please. This 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 isn't really gaming related, but you know we don't do gaming related stuff all the time. <laughs> Straight off the path. <laughs> um, this year saw the release of also sequels. Well, it's a sequel year Ooh. to popular blockbuster films. Shrek Two was being was the highest grossing film of the year. Shrek Two, Shrek okay, two. okay, wow. I, I I do think it's one of the better Shrek films. I still think the first one's probably my favourite. Mm-hmm. Agreed, mm-hmm. agreed. Uh, I, I yeah. think so. I wouldn't yeah. call myself a Shrek connoisseur, but you're an Usher connoisseur, and Usher's <laughs> <laughs> Keith loves Usher, <laughs> and Usher's Confessions was the highest selling album of the year. Of course it was. And now you're supposed to go. It's a classic. You're supposed to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because that yeah. was the song of yeah, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, man. So yeah. this clip, yeah. we've all seen it. This is great. The famous American TV personality, Oprah Winfrey, on September the 13th, awarded each member of our audience yeah. a brand new 
a book. Car. 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 Each word. You to, get you a car. car. You get a car. And you get a car. <laughs> I mean, they've they got, they got the me, they do it with bees. Yeah. You yeah. get yeah. bees. <laughs> you get bees. <laughs> oh. And each car was, a, was, was worth around, well, here we go, $28,500. Uh, she gave away 276 cars. What's the maths? I can't do the maths. What's that then? It's a lot of millions. It's lots. 28,000 how much? It was one of the greatest. About 30 grand times. Yeah, 30 grand times 276. But it was one of the greatest and biggest promotional stunts in the history of television. Uh, Many of the audience cried, screamed, fainted, and were in delirium as Oprah jumped and said, It shows you how how massive she was there at the time. Mm -hmm. She was like, I'm freaking massive. I'm going out. Boom. Yeah. Have some did, of this. Did they know they were going to get an award that day or did the, the audience just turn probably up? Like, not. No, no, probably not. Probably not. And, and, and that number is $8 million. $8 million. She's yeah, dropped yeah. $8 she's mil on the audience. Would it be but she's worth hundreds release of millions. Release yeah. no, $8 million, like 10 seconds. <laughs> I know. It's, it is mad. <laughs> Damn. But she's, she's so like minted. She's just oh, like, she's oh, yeah, eight mil. Rich, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, go on. <laughs> um, I don't want to lower the tone and I don't want to make everyone sad, but unfortunately in 2004... Uh, on Boxing Day, so right near the end, oh. there was a huge uh, tsunami. Yeah. Uh, very, very sad. Um, Indian Ocean crash in the oh, East yeah. African mm. coast. Nine point three magnitude earthquake as well uh, was was linked that's, to it. That's crazy. Uh, again, almost almost quarter, quarter of a million people died. Uh, the tsunami had twice the energy of all the bombs used in World War Two. Wow. That's it's just incredible. You can't like. How, how would you even? It, it just, just wiped out, yeah, mm. huge amounts of land, um, didn't it? It was horrendous. Look, we're we're a light-hearted podcast. We're not going to make any jokes about that. Of course, that's very very sad. Of mm. course, let let's move on to some other news. Other news. Other news. Um, mm, yeah. Zuckerberg. We like Zuckerberg. <laughs> not really. He's a bit of an android, isn't he? Seems to be. Yeah. Um, Marmite. He's a he's bit, bit Marmite. Don't, really but don't have an What was founded in two thousand and four? Facebook? Facebook. Facebook. I don't know if it was the Facebook or Facebook, mm. but Facebook was launched. Here we go. We, we love these because we always... Who was, in 2004, People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive? Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> no one knew who he was then. <laughs> yeah, he programmed you, it. You, you, <laughs> tie, you tried to tie it in there. You, you've led him up the garden path. You have not you? You it's looked not, at him oh, and went, so um, Mark Zuckerberg... He's given me the eyes. He's given me the eyes. Sent me the other way. Brad Pitt. No. Shrek. <laughs> Shrek. <laughs> Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney. <laughs> Straight to Wayne Rooney. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Clooney. I, it wasn't. It was, wasn't Clooney. One of them. It wasn't in our previous pods. And wasn't um, who was the other one we had as sexiest male? I think it was um, Harrison Ford, wasn't it? One of them. My, uh, yeah, maybe, but this maybe. is a bit more recent. And actually, I didn't know he was. Well, I'll just say it. Jude Law. Jude Law. Wow. Okay. okay. Bit of a bit left field, but I can see why. Oh God, there oh, can't have been much competition there. Eh? Uh, sorry, Jude. Oh, no, I, 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 I sorry, think Jude's Jude. a handsome man. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just, just kidding. I'll buy him a beer. <laughs> it's a long run. We've done this for a few times now. Uh, I've got the top 10 baby names of 2004. Tofu. Does Tofu make an appearance? Tofu. Come on, Well, we've got, we've got Emily. Emily. We've got Emma. Emma Tofu. We've got Madison. We've got Olivia. We've got Hannah. We've got Jacob. We got Mike and all. No, we got Mike Michael. And <laughs> Mike and all. <laughs> we got Josh and you are. Josh, you are. Josh, you are. And Matthew and Ethan. Yeah, there Ethan. you go. Okay. They were the top. Nothing, 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 nothing field there. Funny no, or crazy, no, this, sadly. Crazy uh, I've got here a few heartthrobs of the year. We've mentioned Jude Law, George Clooney, Usher. Yeah. Keith, well, Keith loves Usher. <laughs> With yeah. the big album, yeah. <laughs> Johnny Depp. So I've got here Hugh Laurie. I think he goes Hugh Laurie. <laughs> House. House. Roadhouse. It might be when he was doing House. My wife said, I don't fancy been. Hugh Laurie, but as House, he's actually quite Must attractive. Have been House. Let me just yeah. find out when House was on. I was going to say, was it, it, over, did it start in 04? <laughs> Matt Damon. Maybe the Black Adder days, who knows? But Matt Damon. <laughs> um, Brad Pitt, of course. Jun- House. 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 <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Hold up, people. Go on. <laughs> yeah. House. IMDb 8.7, very strong. Um, original release November 16th, 2004. There you go. So wow. just got in He's there. just got in there. They were like, there. all like everyone in the land was they like, love it. You. Blew everyone away there. Sexy. Uh, we've got the Timberlake as well, of course. Uh, Orlando Bloom. Oh, yeah. Shake. Oh. Uh. Orlando yeah. Bloom. Oh, oh yeah. the trouser snake was in the social network as well, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. God, that film was dull. Anyway, let's You know what I found the social network? Well, oh, that was year, but yeah. man, it was dull film. I fell asleep. I think it was well directed and I thought that it was quite well edited. The music and the sound mm. was really quite put in really well. Um, it was boring. 
You just anyway, wanted more anyway, Justin Timberlake. Anyway, I that just wanted 2004. No. So you were like, let's not talk about <laughs> when's that. When's Usher going to turn up? Yeah, when's Usher? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Hugh Laurie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we've got, oh, this is House. quite sad. Um, so we've got Jake Gyllenhaal and obviously Heath Ledger. Oh, Rest in peace. What a legend. Yeah. We've got David Beckham and Ryan Reynolds. Wow. There you go. Well, he was scraping okay. in there. An early Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. Okay. Wrexham legend. Who Ryan was Reynolds. Time Magazine's person of the year? Not quite as big as Sexiest Man Alive, but who was the Time is it someone that we despise or someone that we like? I think we 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 feel a bit sorry for him. We feel sorry for him. Feel sorry for him. For him. I was going to say, do Bill we Gates. Feel, did we feel sorry for him then, or do we feel was sorry a bit for him of in a, hindsight? He was a bit of a joke. I think he was out of his depth. I've got a feeling it's a rule that spoiler alert: if you are the president oh, of the US, you automatically w. become W the people's yeah. So it is it's W W uh, George W. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> I just I, again I don't want to. I, I feel just like remember he was, he was, he was, he was a, a bit maniac. of a puppet, wasn't he? Oh. He was a puppet. Anyway, yeah. well, let's move on from the politics. Yes, definitely. Let's get into scandals. Yeah, we I don't really want to scandal. We don't want to scandal. I don't think the word atrocities will come across well no, in our no, 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 we're, yeah. we're, no. Let's move on. Scandals. We won't get in trouble scandals. with scandals. Yeah, scandals. We're Janet scandals. Jackson's which which breast was semi exposed? <laughs> the, oh, right the, the right one. The right one. Yes. Was it the right one? It was. Wardrobe malfunction. Not that I am. On your right or her right. Or her right. Well, as you're facing. Her right one. Well, yeah, as you're facing. One right breast. No, and but so her who, right breast. Who her also right. was involved well, in this particular at. scandal? Trouser snake. <laughs> yeah. Um, and actually, I've got. A, I actually felt a bit sorry for Janet Jackson because she got all the bad press for this, and Timberlake got away kind of scot free, even though he was part of it, wasn't he? I yeah. don't know. It kind of ruined her career, I think. Did it? But yeah, I think apparently. I think was it? Was it? They do it on purpose. No, got, they said it was a wardrobe malfunction, didn't they? He clearly like goes yeah. and rips it off. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, at the yeah. 2004 the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl yeah. Who was playing in 2004 Super Bowl? Jaguars, I think. Yeah, Jaguars. <laughs> yeah, Jags won. Definitely. Jags won. No, no, no. Um, yeah, not sure. Rock Your Body was playing, and unfortunately, she rocked her body too much. And I think, I think for a while, I think for a while, it put her in the kind of you know in the bin a little bit in some people's minds. But I've got to be honest, mm. I think now. You know, it, it, yes, it's a thing, but I don't think it's like ruined anything. Next, next scandal. Although, actually, maybe it's the best hours of this person's life. For how many hours was Britney Spears mar- married in two thousand and four to her high school friend Jason Alexander? I'll give you uh, have a guess. How many hours? Yeah. Is it less than twenty four? It's more than twenty four. It's more than twenty four. Forty eight. <laughs> That's Keith's guess. Eighty two. I've gone fifty six. You are base. Wow, fifty five. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 55 hours of you, magic you get a car I get a car oh <laughs> uh, I mean we, we can't really laugh at Britney Spears because she went through a lot of tough times and maybe this was kind of the start of it she wasn't yeah. particularly yeah. I've got time for Britney Spears and respect to her she's you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know respect so I don't know too much about Jason Alexander but um, there you go um, this is this is really interesting. This is an odd story. Police discovered a movie theater in the Paris catacombs. It was equipped with a giant cinema screen, seats, projection equipment, film reels, a fully stocked bar, and a complete restaurant with tables and chairs. Its power source and the identity of those res- responsible remain unknown. Amazing! Can That's cool. That? I've never heard that before. Secret. Re- that yeah. is a secret cinema. Yeah. yeah. And what films? I want to know. In the catacombs. Dirty. Ones. <laughs> <laughs> Dead Kino from uh, <laughs> Call of Duty. No, it's just Shrek 2 on loop. Shrek 2, Shrek 2. <laughs> Did you see? I think it, someone, I must try and find a picture on Twitter. Someone's been collecting Shrek VHSs and he's got about over about 500 copies of just the Shrek VHS. Oh my God. I know, uh, it's, that's what he collects. Why? <laughs> um, uh, doesn't, uh, make, doesn't make retro game collecting seem so bad, <laughs> eh? It doesn't. 500 <laughs> you know. um, Ashley Simpson, are we a fan? Uh, I have no opinion. Uh, so I have well, no a great deal about She's going to go down in your opinions. <laughs> what she do? Because she was caught lip syncing on Saturday Night Live. Tut, tut, tut. Oh, I think I've seen that. Yeah, but everyone quite, does that now. Quite, yeah. that, that's quite like bad. a cool thing to do now. Twenty years later. Yeah, exactly. I, I think to call that a scandal is probably. Yeah. Quite oh strong. my god, this is cool. In two thousand and four, Eminem dissed Michael Jackson on Just Lose It. I wish I knew what the diss was, but in response, and I think he did this with the Beatles, uh, Michael Jackson. Bought all of Eminem's publishing. <laughs> didn't he buy? Didn't he buy? Didn't he? If we, if we could bought the Beatles, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did. Bought, he did the Beatles yeah. back catalog. Yeah, yeah. You can he say a lot about Michael it. Jackson, yeah. but he's got he's canny, canny than people think, or he was at least. He, was. he wanted to release. Rest I think peace. he wanted to release "Come Together," and there was like a big hoo ha about it. Like you can't do that because X Y Z. So he went, okay, I'll just buy the whole lot. 
So he did. He literally did. That was. That, the, wasn't that, that was... the song at the end of Moonwalker? Yes. Come <laughs> together, yeah. Full circle. Um, two of the best-selling toys of that year were the Bratz dolls. Apparently, oh, they, they made their appearance. Oh, and God. the dancing Dora the Explorer figurine. Oh. Should we get back to gaming? Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no more scandal. No more scandal. About sinking and I'm going to no. go through some of the big dates, uh, what happened in the gaming year, and you got to guess how many times Atari gets... I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Atari gets mentioned. Um, January, January the 20th, Wired Vaporware Awards gives its first li- Lifetime Achievement Award to rec- recurring winner Duke Nukem Forever. Um, it Duke wasn't released forever. then. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember Duke Nukem Forever? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit, that's quite, a, it was, when was it finally released? So Duke Nukem Forever was know. always in production. Yeah. Became a complete joke. It took joke. forever. Duke Nukem took It forever. finally was released in 2011. And 2011. It, it was a damp squib. If I'm being honest. You mean a damp squid? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, Aren't all squids damp? Mm, (laughs) Squid. Some some other sad news. We actually mentioned Wolfenstein earlier, but on February the 26th, Castle Wolfenstein creator Silas Warner died sadly at the age of 54. Um, Legend. It really Mm. did. One that one of the, one of the most important FPS games of all time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. respect to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, March fourth, Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences hosts the seventh annual Interactive Achievement Awards, and our friend Peter Molyneux was there as well, and he was in the, uh, inaugurated into the Hall of Fame. There mm-hmm. we go. Yeah. I don't think he's actually our friend Peter Molyneux, but we 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 spoke about him a few times. Yeah, we respect his work. Um, May the eleventh, Nintendo officially announces its revolution console was in development uh what was it what was it later called we the we we can imagine the revolution you <laughs> yeah it doesn't quite have the same no. ring to yeah. it does it uh we you <laughs> 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 they went there august the third doom 3 is released uh, we, hey! we start in the breakthrough franchise mm. and featuring complex graphics features you such love as... fps's as well. yeah. i just couldn't get but into it, it. it it included unified lighting shadow in real-time fully dynamic Per pixel light and stencil shadowing, it actually became its best-selling game to date. Boom, boom in your face. <laughs> Just because best-selling doesn't mean I have to like. <laughs> boom in your face. And we've had the game's story writer on the pod in the past. We have Matthew Costello. Matthew Costello, he's right here. Not yeah. here, but he's, <laughs> he's not here our, right now. He's in our back catalog. <laughs> in yeah. you come, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> we keep him in a closet. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on October 12th, dark, EA launches the multi-format FIFA Football 2005. It is the last major title to be released for the original PlayStation. Wow. 2005. Wow. 11 years. Yeah. Wow. It was after in 2004, but you know, they called oh, okay, it 2005. 10, 10 years after it was launched. This is big. In November, Counter-Strike Source and Half-Life 2 are officially released on the PC uh, around the world. Massive. Oh, man. I, we've done a whole pod on it. Blah, blah, blah. Best One of the best games <laughs> ever made. Counter Strike's also, also amazing. Mm-hmm. Got proper addicted to it. Um, here we go. There is there is Atari news. You guys Yay! are excited. He's got it in there. Is it, is he's good good November the seventeenth, Atari <laughs> releases the Atari Flashback. Oh god! Which I think was like a console, wasn't it? Like a was one of those was it a pl- it? was it or plug and play thing? I think it was a plug. James will Google it. Well, it wasn't like now. the Evercade thing. It wasn't a handheld. No, thing, was it? Is, it was is that a... the one that was just the stick that had all the stuff in it that you plugged to the telly? Oh no, I had one of those. They did loads of cheapy ones of those. I don't yeah. know. If... Please, James, please uh, find so out. So we it's... have a tie for... Yeah, so it's it's essentially um, looks like a, a twenty six hundred, two sticks, load of games on it, etc., etc. Like oh, okay. one, one box solution type thing. Oh, um, by the revolution and. Ironically, was... Flashback was released on the Atari Jaguar, but a few years prior. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, November 21st, uh, Nintendo launched its Nintendo DS console in the United States with its enhanced remake, Super Mario 64 DS. Boom, boom, boom. And December the 12th, Sony launches the PlayStation Portable in Japan, mm. later released in d- other markets in 2005. There you go. Amazing. That's console. the gaming that news. As well. Um, no. PSP, PSP, hello. I've also got some... Gaming business news. Oh, yeah. So hit, hit again, me. whisper it really quickly. Ubisoft acquires Tiwak. Eh? Tiwak. Tiwak. To what? <laughs> to what? To, to, who? to who? <laughs> No idea. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Uh, February uh, in February, Electronic Arts consolidates, rolls most of the Maxis and Origin systems into its Redwood Shores studio. I've got a bit of a bone to pick with Electronic Arts. They, you they don't do... like them, and I know why you don't like them. Because they got the Westwood Studios. Westwood Studios, mm-hmm. and even Max in Origin Systems. I'm a big fan of those. They kind of mm-hmm. just 
Got rid of them swallowed slowly, them didn't they? Swallowed them up. Yeah. And just, ugh. Got their IPs. Well, that's what, you know, those guys would have made, made, made money on them. So you, you, you can't feel too sorry about them. This is big news. Look at this. Sammy Corporation, never heard of them, but they bought a big controlling share in Sega yeah. for $1.1 billion. And they created a new company. Sega Sammy. Sega, Sega Sammy Holdings. Yeah. What exactly? Who, who are these Sammy dudes? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Rings just, a bell. Yeah, I Definitely just know that that's what the company was called. Mm. Sega Sammy. Can you imagine if they changed like the... Sammy. <laughs> 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 to be this good takes... Sammy Sa- A. Sega. Same Emmys. <laughs> Amaz. Oh, anyway. Uh, Squ- July Square Enix restructures executive branches around the world. Meh. September the 1st, Acclaim declares bankruptcy and closes its doors. No. Oh. Poor Dylan. Oh, oh no. Come back. What uh, a shame. <laughs> yep. December 13th, Electronic Arts purchases a five-year exclusive agreement for the rights to the NFL, which includes all NFL teams, stadiums, and players for use in their EA football video games. Yes. Yep. Okay. Happy so with that's that? interesting because if a claim were doing, oh no, it was Midway, the NFL Blitz games. Yep. Interesting. So they must have stopped around that time when EA bought all the rights to everything. <laughs> And well, they've back... got much of a choice when someone's uh, got a sledgehammer. Trip, Trip Hawkins back with his old shenanigans. Really? He bought 20% stake of Ubisoft as well, right at the end of the year. And the purchase at the time was considered hostile by, Ubi- by Ubisoft. Oh, how dare you, Hostile Trip. trip. Um, there wasn't that many... I mentioned it already. There wasn't that many consoles released that year, but we had the DS and we had the PlayStation Portable. Roughly, um, how many... Units sold for each of those were recorded. I've got the numbers here actually. So how many? What all time? Of like, all, to, all time. Oh crumbs! Oh, DS um, be massive. DS is wow. Well, DS a crazy is ridiculous. Big number. Yeah, but even the PS PlayStation <laughs> Portable is surprisingly big. Yeah, yeah. Not, really? well, gonna, I mean, shall we go? Let's let's guess P- PSP first. Go on then, because then obviously the the DS is going to wipe the floor with it. Uh, Ten million. No. Uh, See, I'm surprised by this number. I'm surprised because I, I don't PSP. think... I feel like it sold well maybe in Japan. or PSP, okay, then 25. More. More? So, I this know. Is, so hold on, PSP, this, this is, is PSP. worldwide today. Worldwide. Up to date, yeah. Okay. It, it, it was well, released in 2004, it, discontinued in 2014, which I find crazy. Uh, 40 mil. No, more. What? See, I, James, check this out. Apparently, it's, it's sold 82 Fact million. I, I don't 82 it. million? I just, no. 82 million PSP units? No. Just check that. All right, DS, how many? Oh, double it. 160 million. That's basically spot on. 154 million. Bam. That's pretty close. Well done. People love Handel stuff. You know what? <laughs> but check that, James. The PSP, I don't quite... That is mad. Well, this, is, uh, I'm on, this is Wikipedia as the source here, <laughs> and it is 80 to 82 million, but it says in brackets, estimate. Okay, but even well. if it's anywhere close to that, that's massive. Um, yeah. It's like a P- it's like a PS2 in your pockets, but that is a brilliant yeah. little thing. I've got mine. I've done it. I've lost mine somewhere. It's in this house somewhere. But yeah. That's that's big. Are you ready for the top twenty grossing movies? Oh, let's do it. And we've mentioned number one. She's Shrek. All right. She's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Shrek. I'm like, Shrek. Shrek. I don't think it's that. Why does this 2004? film have to come way up before that? that. <laughs> Blinking pod. <laughs> She's all right. God damn it. I Every like, time I, I hear about like, this film. Freddy, come on the show. <laughs> God's sake. Hacky sack. Yeah. Um, Shrek 2. T- tell me some other big films in that year. Aviator. Like, uh, a- Aviator. Aviator? No. Caprio? No. No. Was that year? It was 2004? No. Why didn't you do 2003? Then we could have said Equilibrium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that would have been highest grossing. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> when I think of 2004, the film I always think of is Shaun of the Dead. It's probably not high, the highest grossing. I but don't see it in top, the top of. 20. Do you want me to whisper them? Go and on. while we're doing it, we've got to try and think how they made video games of these as well. It'd be quite fun. I don't okay. know. If, yeah, There's let's... Shrek games. Well, there, there are Shrek games. 20 to one. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Going backwards. Ocean's 12. Uh, yeah. yeah. It tried too hard to be cool, didn't it? Yeah. Is uh, that the one where they like all put on Arsenal tracksuits? And... Is that the second one? Yes. When we're, we're allowed that, yeah. we're allowed that. We'll allow it. Then I'll try and <laughs> we might talk allow it, about bruv. Arsenal a little bit later in the sports roundup. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. <laughs> now I know why he picked 2004. <laughs> um, so, <sighs> n- number 19, The Grudge. Oh, that's oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, pretty yeah. good. Would you play a video game of The Grudge? Yeah, yeah, yeah it'd be pretty scary. How, yeah, it would be The scary. Village is next. What's The Village? That's, that's uh, M. Night Shyamalan. M. Night Shyamalan. 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 Ding dong. Fair enough. That's that's got a Man. good twist though. That one for a Shamala. I would play. I would play a video game <laughs> of this next. Shamala. I think we are fans of this. Dodgeball. 
Oh, yes, what a film. I love that film. Oh, yeah, I love that. If film. you can dodge Spanish, you what can are the dodge five, What are the five D's? Is it the five D's? Dip, dog, Dip, dodge, no, no dodge, duck and dodge. dodge, dive and dodge. There you go. By the American Dodges Dodgeball twice. Association That's of it. America. Dodge is twice. Yeah. <laughs> well, is that important? It is important. If you yeah. can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> <laughs> and the pirate, Pete the pirate, Steve. Oh, Steve, Steve the, pirate. the pirate, Steve. There's a, there's a guy on our team dressed like a pirate. <laughs> Do you know what's really funny when you watch that back now? I don't know if you remember. I There's a bit it. where Vince Vaughn's character, he's going to leave them all for something for like a load of money. Yeah. He's going to leave them in the lurch and he's at the bar and Lance Armstrong, Lance Armstrong. comes to sort of talk yes, to... Yes, it, and it he, hasn't yeah, aged and well. No, no, this is pre... Respectable US hero Lance Armstrong. That's right. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, and he was an inspiration because he came come back from all those cancers and yeah, hasn't aged well. No. But it's still a great film. It's really funny and Ben Stiller is so funny in that. Yeah. Well. I think that's one of Ben Stiller's best films. Yeah. Uh, nobody, nobody makes great. me bleed nobody my own blood. blood. <laughs> yes, what a line! <laughs> oh, oh man, they should make a sequel. Well, should they make a this sequel? Is, no, like, it's done. It's done. This this is they shouldn't have, they shouldn't have made. Yeah, they shouldn't have made Anchorman the, two. And this is my fitness consigliere Michelle. Mm. <laughs> uh, it's such a good you film. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, go, it's worth watching again. Bad, bad. And then we had number sixteen, a bit more serious, but I think a good documentary. Fahrenheit nine eleven. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Don't yeah, make a video game of that. That caused a bit. Do not make a video game of that. Um, I think there is a video game in the next one, Van Helsing. I think they they actually made. Yeah, it. do you know it? what? That was actually that was actually I thought a decent film. It hasn't held up. It hasn't aged no, well. It hasn't. But it time, was entertaining. They you know they rammed everything. In, like oh, there's Frankenstein. Oh, there's the vampires and yeah. Dracula and what else? The there wolf was, uh, werewolves. It's um, got like everything. Jekyll and Hyde. Mm. Oh no, was it Jekyll and Hyde? No, that's the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh, was it? Oh, mm. okay. Oh no! No, you're or right. No, at the beginning, at the very beginning, he hunts him down, and he was running across yes. the rooftops. Yeah, I've seen it. The very beginning. You've never seen Van Helsing. Just, yeah, I've hey, seen it. Hey, can I have another stab? The CGI the is terrible. Them. And you know what? I looked. Aviator was 2004. I must have just enjoyed it more than. It's probably 21. It's probably 21. Probably. Yeah, but 21. 20 and a half. At 14th place, 51st dates. Oh, that's not bad. It's watchable, isn't it? 13 is Troy. Oh my words. The amount of the hype, it? the amount of hype for that oh, film. It's boring. Oh, it's so boring. Yeah. I found it really boring. It really didn't yeah. like, light up as much as it nah. should because because the, the wasn't the trailer was with Achilles, wasn't it? With Brad Pitt, like, yeah, the yeah, whole yeah, bit yeah. Where he has that the, fight, the fight yeah. and then that fight's kind of like the highlight of the film. Mm. Yeah, it's thing. a bit. I thought yeah. it was a bit dull, to be honest. The amount of hype it was supposed to be like Brad Pitt. It's gonna get an Oscar yeah, for this. Yeah, that is crowning it glory. Was, yeah. The only good thing is Sean Bean didn't die. He survived, Troy. No, I don't believe you. I'll have to rewatch it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in twelfth place, we got iRobot. Yeah, that's. I, that's I, I, I remember enjoying that. It was entertaining yep. at the time. It's basically, Will Smith is racist against robots, and he hates robots. He hates them robots. <laughs> There's going to be a sequel. It's going to star Chris Rock and Will Smith again. Lots of fighting scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of slow. <laughs> Just one fight scene. <laughs> yeah, that's it. The year it, today. Isn't the there like today. the competition? The slap slapping each other. Don't oh, know. that's. Have you seen that? Oh my words. It's disturbing. Would you Have pay you money it? to see Will what? Smith, Chris Rock? The load? slap, the slapping thing on on. It's like a. It did that. Dana White started it. You know the ultimate. The guy that runs oh, the, UFC. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, there's actual where slap you have battles. to stand face to face and they slap each other as hard as they can. But yep. because your head's not meant to take that force, no, side, people it's... like they have people standing behind them to catch them. Yeah, it's not, it's not safe. It's not come they, out. They, they it's get scary. Yeah, it's straight gone. out, out. Scary. We don't condone that. No, we we'll, don't. We'll, he could have knocked him out. Just... Will Smith could have knocked him. He could have done. Sure. Well, could have done. He didn't. He slapped him hard enough. He did cover quite well, to be fair. Moving on. The Polar Express. Yeah, like it's it. okay. It's no, for, the kid, come on, the it's for kids the kids like it. The kids for the like kids. It. Tom Hanks, come on. Tenth place, National Tre- Treasure. They're good films. Enjoyed it. Yeah, they're like, yeah, they're like Indiana Nick. Jones light. Quite forgettable. Quite yeah, forgettable. But, you know, Nick, Nick yeah. Cage. Shark mm. Tale. That's I like Shark Tale. Another mm-hmm. Will Smith caper. I like Shark Tale. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, a caper. The ma- I like the, the ma- <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I'm like, it was looking at me. We need reaction. in-depth analysis. <laughs> we need your input. We tail. need it now. <laughs> it's very bitey. Um, in eighth place, we got Meet the Fockers. I liked yeah. it at the time. It yeah. was pretty funny at the time. Um, Gay seven, Lord Fokker. Come Gay on, Lord Fokker. Number seven, The Bourne Supremacy. Good film. Meh. Good, good series of films. Meh. Yeah, are you meh? meh? I mean, meh. Really really uh, I like the first one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not that mm-hmm. number six. The day after tomorrow, I think that's pretty watchable. To Again, be fair. I, it was some good like cinema. Like, I, I enjoyed never watching seen. that at the cinema. You've never You've seen. You've not seen, it? seen day after never tomorrow. Seen. It's well worth watching. It's a oh, bit it's, nuts, but it's, it's it, there are a couple of like iffy scenes. But I tell you what, it's not, it's not a bad watch. But good popcorn flick. Yeah, yeah. That's, sit down, that's switch, fair, your, that's switch your brain yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Popcorn back. Great. Yeah, yeah do that. Right. Yeah, good one. Fair. Fifth place, we got Harry Potter and the 
Philosopher's Stone. No. No. Chamber of Secrets. The Goblet. No. Goblet thing. No. Prisoner of Azkaban. Yes. Prisoner. Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah. Oh, that's the best one. Film or book? Best film. Mm. Okay. Not into any of that. No, I've only seen. I've no. only read twenty years ago. I've only read the Prisoner of Azkaban as well, actually. <laughs> so no. that's a weird. You didn't read the first book. No, so, okay, so I, I just wanted to read the book of my one. favorite one, so I just started reading Prisoner of Azkaban, which is the third, the third film in the yeah. series. Yeah, uh, the fourth film, number four. Now we've got The Incredibles. Oh, that's, that's good. Great. Yeah, that's really, great yeah, really good. Film. In <laughs> third film, we've got Mel Gibson. Oh, passion the, of the Passion Christ. directing The Passion of the Christ. Mm. Yes. Never Which, seen it, truthfully. Well, no. Massively controversial at the time. <laughs> yep. no. But um, actually quite a good move by him because that kind of, well, put him back on the map, didn't it? So I've also got... And also as a hater of a certain, yeah. <laughs> a yeah. certain people, anyway. Well, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, we, let's, let's move on. Didn't I be happy about this? Spider-Man 2 in second place. Love was it. that 2004? Apparently so. Me and Keith would have done Orange Wednesday that year then. Must have. Because we did... All the Spider Men, the Spider Men, Spider Men, Spider Men, Spider Men, Orange Wednesday. And, and for those not from the UK, what's an Orange Wednesday? Sorry, Orange Wednesday. <laughs> um, it's Orange Wednesday. We did an Orange Wednesday. Me and Dale used to paint ourselves orange and go to the yeah. cinema. And it's also not a euphemism. It's normal. It's not a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> um, orange used to be a phone company, and now he, which another phone company over here. And every Wednesday they used to offer a little voucher, and you could take your bud and have buy. Um, one, two for one, was two, two for one, one. two, two for, one. for one. Um, and so yeah, so we basically stole um Keith's partners at the times codes yep. and had a great time <laughs> with that one. There we go. Okay. Spider Man Two is the best of the Tobey Maguire Spider Mans. Is is it? Who's in that again? Who's the Spider-Man's? main villain? Doc Do- Octopus. Oh, Alfred Molina. Yeah, Molina. Alfred, Alfred Molina. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's good. I, who's the guy that says I'm something of a scientist myself? Yeah. Oh, that's in, that's um, Willem Dafoe in the, the Supreme oh, yeah. Goblin. Yeah, yeah. In the he's good in that, isn't that's he? In the first one. That's he, such yeah, a great quote. Isn't I love, something of a scientist. I love Willem Dafoe. He's, he's great. I, I'm a fan. And in first place, we really spoke about it. Who cares? Shrek two. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Move on. Um, <laughs> just because I like to watch movies and I don't mm. like to watch video jokes, <laughs> <laughs> I want to pick out a few other kind of highest rated. Oh, films. go on, go on, go on. I love this film. I have to say, I watched it again quite recently. Sideways. I think it's such a good film. Um, you bought me Sideways oh, for one of my birthday presents. It's a you? very, it's a film you watch going, do I actually enjoy this? Mm. It's quite slow, but there's something about it I quite find it, I find it? it very it's interesting. It's the one, the, it's the the one vineyard, where they're in the, the valleys and yeah, they're yeah, going yeah, to all I the vineyards. It. It's like a buddy movie. Paul Giamatti's in it. Um, He's brilliant. And Sandman's in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go play Sandman. Yes. Okay. Are Sandman. you a fan? And see if I can enjoy it. I've only seen it once. I think I need to watch it again. I think it's kind of a quirky little. It's quirky. Film. And yeah. It's not a film. You, you've got to have, you got to have a glass of wine when you watch it. Mm-hmm. It's the law. It did well at like the awards and stuff, didn't it? I, it was, I actually think and it's, it wasn't a big film, but it was like critically. Really, really enjoyed it. And I, I, I just wanted to highlight that one. Um, right, other, other, one for the list. Before you go and do this, another good film from that year, The Machinist. Yes. Oh, yes. If you haven't seen it. Yes. Great Christian film. Christian Bale. Amazing. Christian Bale is very good in that. He loses a lot of weight. I think he deserves an Oscar for that, personally. Mm. It is in a good movie. I don't think enough people have seen that. It's a great yeah. film. Um, I've got the top 10. I'm going to whiz through these really quickly, I promise. But top 10. Are these the highest, highest rated, rated IMDb on. films mm-hmm. in 2004? Go so on, we've on. got Nobody Knows. Uh, nobody Knows. I don't know it. I don't know it. I don't know it. The Sea Inside. Don't know it? No. Kill Bill Volume 2. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Love it. The Incredibles. Meh. Uh, we've spoke about that already. Hotel Rwanda. Not yeah. seen it. Uh, Million Dollar Baby. Uh, Keith's favourite actress, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Before Sunset, which I think is a good film. Quite a nice romantic, but quite a very well done film with uh, mm-hmm. Ethan Hawke. And, um, oh, I've not seen it. I can't remember I like the Ethan actress. Hawk. Downfall as well. Oh, uh, was that 2004? So. That's an amazing right, film if you haven't seen it. Oh, that's that's oh, hit, that's one of Hitler's last days. Yeah. They all see the, the, the ah, yeah. memes. They, they link it to it's football stuff. The Der Untergang in German. That one loads of awards. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, um, they do the memes. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. very clever. Howl's Moving Castle. I'm a big oh, studio. Oh, that's a great beautiful. film. Yeah. yeah, it's up there. It's in the top. My kids love that as well. It's very yeah. good, isn't it? Yeah. Howl's Moving Castle. Beautiful. And the first number one. I really like this film as well. I haven't seen it for a while. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless yeah. Mind. Yeah, I liked it. Carrie, Jim at Carrie's his best. Yeah, non comedy. I, like that. I heard. I heard recently yeah. he shouldn't have done that film because the director at the time knew that he was going through a lot of mental health issues. Mm. And the director actually almost said, play on it. We want you to be, we want we'll almost that it. darkness to come in. And that's probably in a weird way why it was so good in it. But Jim Carrey said, I really shouldn't have done that film. It wasn't helping my state of mind. But in a funny way, it probably added to his acting. Mm. It's, that's a big risk to get. To yeah, Jim Carrey kind of slated the director real. many yeah. years later. And I like Jim Carrey. I think he, yeah. Mm. 
I think he's I think he's I think he's he's quite he, he's he's a good commentator now as a kind of an older guy because he's got a very kind of level head now whereas a lot of people previously thought he was just a goofball who mm, basically yeah. just would spout a load of funny lines whereas now if you listen to a lot of his like yeah. round table interviews and stuff they they're really insightful well, and he's been, he's gone from like the heights of he was like the, you know number one actor in hollywood for a little while wasn't he, he to was. sort of he disappearing almost yeah um video games now go on Mm-hmm. Well, well, what, highest rated, we have to <laughs> highest rated video games. I've got best selling video games I've got oh. the top 10 best selling so number one well, we know what number one San is San Andreas uh, I suppose we should start from the bottom in 10th place which is a bit weird because uh, wow okay we'll come, number 10 and number 2 are interlinked but in number 10 we've got Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire or Emerald okay. mm. and that sold 1.6 million mm. in 9th place we've got Need for Speed Underground 2 oh my god <laughs> That is an absolute classic. And if you want something that is crying out for a remake or remaster, that's the one. Such, I mean, the, obviously some people weren't into like car games and stuff at the time, but yeah. that is, um, consider, that, that has got a huge following and people still play that. And there's a lot of people still stream it on like the retro sites mm-hmm. uh, on TikTok and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Big, big game. And the, it was praised massively for the sound effects because the sound effects were mm-hmm. bang on. Um, so yeah, and a real, nice. I, I used to, yeah, great game. Great game. 2.5 million sold there. Uh, number eight, we played this a lot, was Pro Evolution Soccer 4. Oh, good game. Uh, known yeah. as that, was one, that was one of the best. Apart from six. Six is my favourite, and then four. Four's great. Five. Wh- was who's great. Adriano? <laughs> who's that front cover? Is that four? That was six. No, five. That, no, six. no, five was um, John Terry. Who was Henri? Henri, wasn't it? Was Henri was five. Yeah, no, yeah, no, Henri and Terry was five. And maybe it was six then. We know. like them. We're they went for a good period. period. We're verifying. One moment, One moment, please. One moment, please. Six. Love them. So good. That sold 2.6 million. Dylan's checking. Uh, but in seventh place, we've got ESPN NFL 2K5. Keith, does that mean anything to you? Never played I've, that. I wasn't, interactive. Yeah, I wasn't really playing the NFL games then, so I haven't. 2.6 million sold. This is a massive game. It must be mainly in Japan. In sixth place, we've got Dragon Quest uh, Eight. I'm not going to pronounce the other stuff. I'll get it all wrong. I'll just have a look. But look, 3.3 3 million. Dragon look. Quest 8. Sora to Umi to Daichi to Norowareshi Himegimi. I probably still, Very good. But, still butchered it. But. Apologies to any Japanese yeah. listener if <laughs> Keith's butchered Very English that, translation. It sounded pretty good. So though, that's, the, that's, that's the pre-evolution oh, 6 there you cover. Go, look at, there you go. Here's Adriano and uh, John Terry, and John Terry, John again. Terry lurking in the background. <laughs> but we're, we're technically covering Pro, Pro Evo 4 here, did it? not 6. Yeah, 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 yeah no, 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 no. You wanted 4. <laughs> was four. four he wanted Adriano. <laughs> I think 4's the one with Colina on the cover. Can you check? Pierluigi Colina was on the cover of one of them. Can you imagine having referees referee like standard these Tri- days? He was. It was oh. like orange. That's either three or four. I'm not sure. No, f- yeah, four is Kalina. Yeah. Henri. <laughs> the bald referee. Isn't that Mark Plattenberg and your man, on the cover? And your man, Francesco Totti. Totti. Yeah. There you go. So um, that, that's four. Keith likes a bit of Totti. I love a bit of Totti, yeah. In fifth place, Madden NFL. Okay. 4.2 million. Fourth place is Halo 2. And respect, because that's an Xbox mm. exclusive. Big seller. Yeah. We're a fan. Big fan of that game. If, if people could see what Dylan's doing I'm right now. I'm doing the okay. <laughs> Let's okay. The salt bay. <laughs> salt bay. <laughs> Welcome to the film. Little Halo 2. Salt bay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. A massive, massive game, that. Uh, I don't like to burst Pro Evolution Soccer 4's bubble, oh. but in third place, we've got FIFA Soccer 2005. Mm. 4.5 million. No. Just no. No, I wasn't playing FIFA's at that time. No. Just, um, just wasn't. There, were there was two types of people in the world, wasn't there, back then? Mm-hmm. Uh, what ones that like Pro Evo and ones that were wrong? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There you go. Exactly. I find this weird. If you're going to buy a Pokemon game you, mm. and there's two available, you wouldn't think there'll be such a huge difference in the options. If you're going to say Fire Red is next, no, yeah, Pokemon Ruby Sapphire slash Emerald mm. was tenth place, one point six million. Pokemon Fire Red or Leaf Green, another Game Boy Advance game. I, I assume it's the same. No, they're different things. Oh, okay. So the Leaf Green and the Thingy Bobs were the new advanced ones for the year. Fair and dues. the other ones must have been the Old year school. before. What, what would you say? Pokemon Ruby? No, well, that's the, that's the 10th place. Yeah, I'm just going to... Yeah, just check, I think that yes. was the older one. Okay, fair enough. The new Pokemon games then uh, got about five, well, almost six million. And the highest selling game, San Andreas, around almost seven million. Wow. Across the that's world. That's a lot. That is yeah, Pokemon lot. Ruby and Sapphire were released in 2002, actually. So for them to still be in the charts like two years later, pretty Ru- good. Spe- 
Acta. Um, I've also got the best-selling games in Japan and the US and Power. I'll whistle them really quickly. Mm. Uh, I'm, as you know, Keith, you can do the Japanese ones, please, because I can't pronounce them very well. <laughs> uh, best-selling video games in Japan. Okay, number 10. Uh, <laughs> He's regretting it now. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just like, what? Derby Stallion 4 or 04, which is a simulation game by Enterbrain. Horse racing they do like sure. a bit of horse racing. Derby so Stallion, my, is yeah. that Dean? Is that Dino? Derby Stallion. <laughs> that's just yes. you, mate. That's his that's eBay name. Not the Darby Italian Stallion. stallion. Who? Look, I can't do I'm a Derby. I'm the Derby Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number nine, uh, Gran Turismo 4. Number eight, Metal... These aren't hard to pronounce. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Uh, Snake Eater. No, <laughs> number seven, Jisen Pakislot Shin Shushu. <laughs> Hakuto no Ken. Hakuto no Ken. Fist yeah, of the yeah, North yeah. Star. There you go. By Sammy Corporation. Sammy. Oh, for the PS2. <laughs> number six, Sengoku Musu. Sammy. Samurai Warriors. Oh. Uh, number five, Willing. I- w- Willing. Winning 11 8, which it's is Pro Evo, Pro isn't Evo it? 4. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dragon Quest 5. I'm not. Oh, Dragon Quest 5, Tenku no Hanayome, The Heavenly Bride. Oh. Number oh. four, number three, Pokemon Ruby, slash Sapphire, slash Emerald. Number two, Pokemon Fire Red slash Leaf Green. Number one is Dragon Quest Eight. Sora to Umi to Daichi to Noro Areshi Himegimi. We now apologise to everyone in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying words then; it just sounded like I was mumbling into yeah. the microphone. But, yeah. Thank you, Keith. <laughs> uh, in the US, we had Star Wars Battlefront. I'm not played the that original one. Have you played mm. that? Yes. One? Yeah. I, I Battlefront one and two. Two was. Per, per, my personal favourite, but um, yeah, they were they were good, very different to anything else that was around at the time. Um, we've mentioned all these before, really. But oh, isn't it? I just mentioned a few new ones. Uh, Spider Man Two. Oh, on, the game on the PS on the PS Two. Oh, real good game that yeah. is. Mm. Um, I think we mentioned the others really. Let me just, let me just check, check the power list. Oh, Driver made it into the top ten for the power regions driver oh, yeah, i used to i used to really enjoy that well, i never got past one. the i never got past the tutorial the tutorial yeah. like really out. hard multi-platform healthy platform wow. um sonic heroes that came in number six six place in where oh in the uk you yeah. mean driver uh, with a oh, three oh driver three yeah. oh driver three driver yeah, three, three. Driver, yeah, i've yeah, got yeah. the three in it yeah. Yeah, yeah that's why i was a bit confused oh sonic heroes that's okay yeah that's okay yeah. it's we've also not we'll allow it it's not terrible we'll allow it we've got simpsons hit and run Yes. Uh, yeah, what love a game that, that love is. That. Oh, what a game. That's GTA, Great game. GTA Simpsons. So yeah. the, the biggest selling games in the UK, uh, it's UK, sorry, and US, and also Australia, there you go, is GTA San Andreas. A few, I've also got the top 10 from Australia, I already told you number one. We've, we've also got Gran Turismo 3 A-Spec. Okay, yeah. SyncStar made it in there. V8 Supercars 2. No. Um, um, no? Okay. Nope. Nope. Uh, being and in the, Australia. The, the rest we've mentioned, yeah, Australia. Oh, Ratchet and Clank made it into the Australian top. Nice. Team. Good game. Yeah. Should we talk about the best selling albums? Go on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, even, if you say, even if you say no, you're gonna say yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll yeah. go from ten to one. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I think these are global sales. Is this albums, yeah. Albums. They might be US, but I think it's global. If it's, if it's US, whatever, who cares? If there's country albums in there, you'll know it's US. Oh, exactly. We've got Love Angel Music Baby by Usher, no. <laughs> <laughs> Love Usher. Gwen <laughs> Stefani. Uh, then we've got Avril Lavigne with Under My Skin. I good think album, that, that was her second album, I think. Sold 8 yeah, million. Good album. There's good albums there. Encore by Usher. Eminem. No, he's, he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's just going to keep saying Usher until he gets it right. Owned by Michael Jackson. Um, <laughs> Breakaway by Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, okay. How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb. Oh, that's you too, isn't it? It is you too. Yeah. They have to. Tr- they do sound a little bit pretentious, don't they? <laughs> a little bit. A little uh, bit. But, but I remembered it was them just off that title. Yeah. I don't have that album or listen to it. What's that, What's that comedy film from the 50s? Is it it's, it's something like Different Ways? To, oh, I forget now. Oh, I know the one you mean. It's a, that's I really know quite, the one you mean. You know, it's got a, it's got the bomb yeah. in the title. It's Dr. Strangelove. Yeah, that's how, it. And, Oh, what's this? It's like a yeah, subtitle, I, I know, isn't it? I, you, I know what you're That's what you can't fight in here. This is the war room. Yeah. 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 It's a classic. Anyway, I like, I really did like that film. I forget the name of it. Uh, Feels Like selling. Home. Yeah. Feels Like Home is by whom? That sounds familiar. Snow Patrol? I don't know. <laughs> it sounds familiar. <laughs> it sounds familiar. <laughs> he, he strayed away from Usher. <laughs> no, it's Nora Jones. Oh, she Nora, wishes yeah, she, she was, was Snow Patrol. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Mr. Plow. Mr. Plow. Mr. Plow. <laughs> That's my name. Back, back to Bedlam by James Blunt. Blunt? Uh, All right, yeah. Oh, uh, here you go. Doctor Strange Love or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. Nice. That that should have been a much better called. title for you two, shouldn't it? <laughs> Um, greatest hits that's a bit cheeky isn't it Guns N' Roses greatest hits that's a bit, bit cheeky a cheeky way of getting the top 10 um, American Idiot by Green Day uh-huh. and smashing it out there <sighs> wow Usher Confessions <laughs> 20 million copies sold wow. yeah 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 Legend. yeah um, oh what's this <laughs> Adrian's just, Adrian's just, just found a page oh, what's this? oh I know what this is <laughs> sorry this is uh <laughs> oh no this is the UK top 10 uh, albums that was I think mean, that was US that must be your top selling yeah. so breakfast really cereals in 2004 <laughs> we got Il, Il Devo do you want to actually mention some Il Devo Il, Il, Il Devo really is that what you were going to say Il Devo <laughs> yep uh. oh, yes Look, Dylan would be happy. <laughs> <laughs> in ninth place, final straw by Snow Patrol. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Um, I would like to point out that I don't like Snow Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. You love it. Oh, yeah. um, he likes Nora Jones. <laughs> Nora Jones is back with Feels Like Home in eighth place. Confe- she, she wishes she was if Snow Patrol. I'm now though. Usher's number one Usher, fan. You're now Snow Patrol's number one Usher's fan. not number one. Usher's seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anastasia is in sixth place with Anastasia. <laughs> uh, Call off the search by... Anastasia? That Katie Melua. Oh, Songs About Jane by Maroon, Maroon 5. Maroon 5. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows Maroon 5. Oh, man. What do we think of Maroon 5? Not much. <laughs> Give I try me not something to. to <laughs> she will be loud. Oh. Anyway. Great. Oh, here we go. Robbie Williams of the greatest hits. Come on. Oh, come off Get it. Get rid of the greatest hits. He always hits pops albums. up Get in these. Strip them out. Oh. In 2004, greatest hits. How many... So, Not many. What, Can't two albums him. worth? Can't oh. stand him. Hopes and Fears by Keen. Oh, I like I quite, I quite like Keen. Keen's I've good got band, a great yeah. voice. Their music. second album was brilliant. Was that Hopes and Fears? No, that was the first one, I think. And number one, Scissor Sisters. Oh. By Scissor Sisters. <laughs> Scissor Sisters by Scissor Sisters. Wow, look, okay. how, look at the sale Taking numbers. Taking a leaf out of Anastasia. Oh, wow. It's not a lot of spitting distance between the two. Mm. Um, I've got here the top 10 game rentals in the US. Oh, wow. I'll give okay. you a clue. They're all on one platform in that particular year. PS2? PS2. Just the PS2. Yeah. Um, and actually, wow, a lot of them are EA games. Wow. Um, number 10, we've got The Sims Busting Out, mm. which is an EA games game. Out, man. We've got NCAA Football 2005, okay. yeah. EA Sports. Mm. We've got James Bond 007. Every, That's good. Everything or Nothing. That's a good game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Never Very played good. it? Never played it. No, it's good. Would you rent it or buy it? I'll buy it. Okay, fair enough. Feel like two pounds be on this buy list. It, yeah. <laughs> um, Red Dead Revolver. Yeah, yes. still got to play it. Is that a game to rent? That's a game to buy, isn't it? Would you not think? Mm-hmm. I, don't, I haven't played it. <laughs> you'd struggle. I think I'd rent it first to get it done during the rental period. But I mean, probably. Yeah. NFL Street. That's uh, I never like those. Street. Street. No. I never like anything street. <laughs> Peeper yeah. Street. Peeper Street. No. I like being in my Street house. Streets of rage. <laughs> 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 Taking his telly out to the pavement. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, street Fighter. You hate all of them. Oh, I do like it. Street Fighter. Oh, so you like something Street. Yeah, then. and Street is of Rage. Um, Madden NFL 2005 at fifth place. Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Budokai 2. Something that none of in us were really place. into, Dragon Ball. No. no. Mm. no. Made by Atari. There you go. More, more Atari news. Hey, you. Uh, Driver 3, also made by Atari. Drive 3R. You mean Drive 3R. Drive 3R. I find this weird. Why would you rent out San Andreas? That was his number two, though. Yeah, he can't afford it, mate. Try but before I mean, you buy. Try before you buy. That yeah, and that would have been you know forty forty yeah. well then dollars maybe fifty sixty bucks a lot of money. So like some people just couldn't and the afford. first the biggest rented game of the year is. Oh, I, th- I thought it would be San Andreas Shrek Two Spider Man Two. Oh, Spider Man uh, Spider Man Again, that's a massive game. Got the two <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's just because yeah because people just can't afford it. Um, ah, this is cool. This is my we're almost at the end of my. Um, gaming news we're, we're wrapping things up quite soon here but i've got the highest rated scores of the games in 2004 nice so we've mentioned a few of these already truthfully um i'll go from it's, i think there's 20 here so quite a few the so in 20th place which i played recently and i loved it is the legend of zelda the minish cap 
You love. There you go. He dropped in a bit of Zelda. Yeah. Any, anything Zelda. Any uh, it's absolutely any. incredible game. It's it's you can shrink uh, shrinking mechanics. So this was GameCube. Mm. This is no. This is GBA. Oh, okay. Game Boy Unbelievable game. Um, the aggregate scores, the reviews, give it a ninety percent overall rating. So hey. that's twenty of places, ninety percent. I believe. Okay, so, yeah, so these yeah. are really, really highly rated. Okay, really, really high. The Minish Cap's great though, and actually they're going to release it soon on the Switch Online, so you can mm-hmm. proper play it. I recommend it; it's fun. Uh, it, we then got the Sims Two just just after it. Mm-hmm. I, I was I've never like, really played much. Sims. No, I, I tried to get into it. My my housemate at uni was really into the Sims, and I'm like, I just don't get it. The, ori- like, the original one was quite good fun. Yeah, yeah. but but I think. Because the original one was, it, it was quite simple and you only had like a certain amount of options and stuff. Mm. And I think what's happened after like the second and third one, you, you're just bombarded. Yeah, with see, like there was, I'd never, pla- I'd never played them. And there's, I think Sims 4, it must have been, was on like PS Plus a couple of years ago. And I thought, oh, I'll give it a go. I just found it overwhelming. Mm. I think someone, uh, that's, there was too much to keep track of. It's mm. funny you say that. I saw a screen grab, I think, just to go off slightly for, for a second. I saw a screen grab and I'm sure it was on, um, Instagram and someone actually did a, uh, it was on PC and mm. it was, I think it was Sims 4 and they, they put everything in their shopping cart for all the add ons and it oh, came right. to like $1,300. No way. I mean, that just shows EA, you. Like, EA. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, that's just way too much yeah. going on. So, yeah. but anyway, yeah, the one was one was good fun, and it was, I did play one. You can make yeah. design your houses. It was like a zoomed in, yeah, and you had choices, yeah. but it wasn't like exhaustive. Mm. You know, there wasn't like lists and lists. But yeah, yeah, I agree with that. My brother Chris, because he's a bit of a bad bad man, he used to make a room and lock people in, get rid of the doors, <laughs> no food. They were just, they were just literally <laughs> like go doors. crazy and just die. I think they could die in it. Yeah, you you can, you could do, and yeah, you could you put could fires around. I know it wasn't very good. You could torture That's people. Disturbing. That's quite <laughs> disturbing. I don't want to speak to Chris ever again. <laughs> um, I doubt anyone in this room has played this game, but I'm going to chuck it out there. And I'm surprised it's on the list. But the Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher's Bay di- developer's cut is highly, highly rated. Wow. It is a Microsoft, so it's a PC game. I never played it. So it's better than the films then? Yeah. <laughs> if it's that highly rated. Oh, wow. Okay. okay well, interesting. That might Are you be telling worth... me Vin Diesel has not been in anything but the best films ever made? I am telling you that, yes. <laughs> I'm surprised that's in there, but there you go. Mm. Um, Must be good. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2005. Oh, <laughs> so good. Dylan's a fan. Yeah. Um, oh, here you go. Ugh. Madden NFL 2005 <laughs> and Madden NFL 2005. Xbox, then PS2 version. Oh, okay. PS2 was slightly higher rated. Yeah. People do still talk about that particular Madden as being mm. one of the best. T- 2K5. Pro Evolution and Soccer 4, highly regarded. There you go. Hello. Love it. Yeah, really high scores. We've got This is like we're, this is like 91.12 now. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, up your arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second, it's the second one. And yeah. that is highly rated. I never really played the Ratchet They're and Clank. They're good Clanks. games. I think They're you might enjoy weird. them. Yeah. yeah. Try and play the remastered one. Mm. It's well nice. It's... it's the whole this whole list is PS2. No, no, he just because oh. uh, that it was twice, it was because it was Xbox, oh, the rental no. list, the Minish okay, Cap because Zelda. One in, yeah, there's one in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I played loads of Zelda. On oh, my PS2. sorry, <laughs> <laughs> my bad. It's weird that we've mentioned Arsenal twice now, isn't it? Oh. That is a bit odd. That's yeah, twice yeah, too right, many. I think. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Three Snake Eater. Good game. Very good. Yep. Yeah. Don't like Dan because like I like it. the radar. When you take no me cones. out of my radar, no cones. They took the cones. They away. They took the cones away. I'm like, oh, don't co- oh I've got spotted again. Now it's realistic. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, ESPN NFL 2K5 made by Sega. Did you know it was made by Sega? Yeah, that was. Yeah, they they did the the 2K games, and yeah. then eventually they got sold off to. Of who course, is it he that knows that. Who is it that does them now? <laughs> Whoever it is that does the 2K games uh, now. But yeah. Ro- Rome Total War. I've heard of it. Yeah, it's a PC. I've seen it's it. A strategy. Yeah. yeah, it got into that later on. It's like a, it's like a big scale. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was a, a program on there was TV a, with, a while back. with Greg Wallace, I think. Wasn't yeah, he? wasn't he the host? So, yeah, what? Yeah, there Something was a like program that. on TV. And it was like a big simulation, and you literally had to like place your army yep. on this battlefield, and mm. you'd have two, you know, two armies fighting against each other, and it was just like that. It was like big, big scale warfare. We, we, we've, Run Google that in a minute because I think it was Greg Wallace the host. They, it was actually they used the game engine. I think James will check. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I'm, I don't know what I'm searching for because I can't remember the program name. Greg Wallace Rome. His best best Italian. <laughs> okay, holiday snaps. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> me at the Coliseum. <laughs> Who's Greg Wallace? Greg yeah, Wallace US listeners, other listeners. He's like a. Well, uh, they have Master Chef in America, don't they? They, have a yeah, they don't have it. Greg. No, in, but they have a version in, of it. I'm He's, Greg uh, Wallace. <laughs> um, we've also got Metroid Prime Two Echoes. On the GameCube. Mm. 
I don't like them not games, really. really, to be fair. I've never really got into them. I kind of want to give them a I go. I like level by level by level. Well, what do you level. mean? What's, what's Metroid Prime? So metroidvania things is obviously like you, you go around and you open up different bits of like a big world, don't you? But it's all obviously 2D and then you sort of go around that way. It never really never really floated in my boat. I tried playing them um, recently, actually. Have you, but... played, have you played Echoes? No, but now that's very highly rated. Maybe <laughs> yeah. I should play Echoes. Yeah. But I've got to get a GameCube emulator. All right. Interesting. I have found it, and yeah. it's called Time Commanders. <laughs> yeah, it Time was out. It was out, It started in two thousand and three. Wow. Okay. Which, which then probably mm. meant why a lot of people mm. were going for for that game for Rome. Um, it had Eddie Mayer, two thousand and three, two thousand and four. Richard Hammond, oh five. Well, Where's the host? Hammond. Yeah, and then Greg Wallace in twenty sixteen. Oh right. Wow. So it was kind of brought back. It, it's it's got a ninety six percent Google uh, Plus on t- a TV show and an eight point five on IMDb. There it must, must be, be there must be a B movie with that title as well though. Time yeah. Commanders. So there must be uh, some yeah, I remember sci-fi quite, film. Yeah, a lot of good, but... people's heads get <laughs> yeah. Time Commanders. Yeah. Um, we've also got Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, Ninja, yeah, yeah. Gui- Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden. Yeah. So it was good, was it? I bet it was. It's supposed rock to solid. get up. Yeah, it's supposed to be hard. Yeah. But it, looks, like it looks really games. good. I'm it terrible really at good. video games, as you guys know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, says right. the man. So you keep telling yeah. us. <laughs> James, <laughs> Mr. No, no. Mr. Golden Joystick. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know what I'm talking about, in, fill him check in. out our so, Twitter and you'll see. <laughs> very recently, we had a gaming tournament at my house. <laughs> with like a carefully curated list of games i think there was about 12 different games and yeah mr i'm no good at video games destroyed everyone <laughs> apart from the racing yeah apart from yeah and yeah, took home the, the, the golden joystick the Got worst it. thing was uh, uh, pang i'm like oh, just yeah. move over guys watch the master at play you, you were so <laughs> sure <laughs> how to do this super pang master at work put so it in there sure. just no point even well. playing it then this young scadio comes along <laughs> Captain, Captain Cockshaw. <laughs> and pangs about a million balloons, bubbles, they're going to call them, and takes the trophy. I'm sorry. <sighs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Um, World of Warcraft. Have I've played World of Warcraft. Have you guys played mm. it? No, no, it just sounds too in-depth and too I, taken. I did time. briefly back oh. when it was like sh- shortly after release just to see what was yeah. kind of going on. But yeah, I didn't get into it. I'm a, I'm a huge Warcraft fan. I... I me and James both yeah. big fans of the, the original the RTS, R- R- games, yeah. RTS games and open world M- MPORG game M- M- I, just, I just found yeah I just found it like too overwhelming there was just like too much to do like from the get go like you, you like there was almost too much choice and I get like the thing is you need to spend days and days well, and days kind of like honing everything and specialising and I was just like this is way too much to start off with like you know, this was... this matches up for me then because around this time, and it would have been around 2004, uh, I was living at Emma's house for a little bit in between kind of a bit of a nomad actually for a little while. I was living in Emma's spare room and John was there obviously, good old John. And he and he and Emma and John would play World of Warcraft. I was like, what is this new? I heard about it obviously. And he set me up an account and we he would sit, we'd have a computer next to each other and he would like, he would look after me. He was like level, I don't know, 80 or 90. Or I, I seem know. to remember a conversation about that. Yeah. yeah when and was, I'd, yeah. He, I'd be like, who's this little noob hanging around this, 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 but he used to help me out on the missions and stuff. I've now got to about level, uh, I want to say about level 18, 19. So I got pretty good. But it's one of those games where I sort of stop playing and then you stop forever for me anyway. So it's, I've got some good memories of it, but I didn't know what I was doing half the time. John was doing all the hard work. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you, you really have to like dedicate a lot, a lot yeah, of it just, time it's, to that. It's too all-consuming. I yeah, mean, it really is. Yeah. It's massive. I mean, says the guy who used to play Football Manager a lot. Like, oh, that, that almost ruined so college for me. Hours. I almost didn't finish it college. It ruined my college. <laughs> it did. Football it ruined manager. my college. Championship Manager ru- ru- ruined my college. On my A levels, which many, is why I ended up doing it legal studies. And then how many students' grades did that game suck away? <laughs> I wonder. Oh man! Throughout the years, it's just so potential professors are now work. No, I'm not going to job shame, but are now no. doing other jobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because of Championship Manager. So basically, like the world's failings are all due to Championship Manager because there's not enough people to. <laughs> Although to saying come up that, with a good solution, the current. Yeah. Reams manager, the French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. He, the young guy, yeah. He got, I don't know, I know it's a bit more than this, but he mm. sort of was known for being absolutely incredibly at football manager. Mm-hmm. And he kind of roundabout got his opportunity because of that. Yeah. So there you go. That kind of goes back in our theory. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Now we need he, to interview someone who made he, championship manager and ask them. Yeah, I'd love <laughs> yeah. to actually. I did yeah. try many years ago. But if you read about that guy's career, he's a clever boy. Like obviously, and, and he did all the hard work of like and stuff. Like, like he got mm. uh, hired by Vincent Company and things. That's it, so yeah. before becoming the Reams manager, like, he's 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 learned his trade. Like he's good. 
Who's their top goal scorer for that team at the moment? Your your oh, guy. Look at me. Jesus. Your guy. Oh, Arsenal person. guy. Lagan. Yeah, Balogun. <laughs> Another Arsenal link there. That's weird. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, Keith, Keith just threw his head. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Clancy's splinter cell, Pandora, tomorrow. Not played that no. one. Only played the first one, really. Um, moving on then. Ah, oh, here we go. Atari game. They've made it. Mm. Unreal Tournament 2004. That is a badass game. That mm. was Unreal Tournament. That was a huge game. Do you remember? It was like FPS, but with vehicles. Yeah, it was. That was a big. That was that <sighs> brought about pretty much the the, the that exploded yeah. kind of the team deathmatch type Atari, though. games. Well, yeah. they're the publisher. I don't know if they made it. And we've interviewed the chap who did the music. Kevin we Ripley. did, yeah, of course, yeah. We yeah. did. You know what? I love that game. I played it for a good few solid months. It was such a good. It was it's brutal. It was yeah. great. It's it was great. Hard. It's so good. Here we go. We're finally going to mention it. Um, the This is interesting, actually. Yeah, the PS2 version is slightly higher rated than the Xbox, but basically spitting distance. Burnout free take yes. down. What <laughs> a yes. game. So good. Brilliant. Ga- oh, just oh, so many it's great So much fun. Just racing, smashing into stuff, <sighs> and the different modes on it, and how brutal it was. Oh, it, oh, great game. Loved it. Still love that it. That road rage mode is still one of my favourite things yeah. in any game ever. It's so enjoyable. And it's so fast. Have you played it recently? Yeah, it's mental. yeah I played it. Have you tried playing Burnout Takedown recently, Dil? No. It's too fast. <laughs> it's too fast. <laughs> I'm too old. <laughs> I'm too old Hashtag to play bonkers. this game. Now. It's like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, amazing. It, amazing. It looks great for a PS2 title, yeah. doesn't it? It's, oh, it really does. It, it probably pushes the console to its limits, um, especially with all this smashing. There's going so much going on. on. Yeah, yeah. It, mm-hmm. it's, it's the music's pretty good. The commentary's good. Yeah, it's proper. Like, oh, it's crazy. It's cray cray. We were going to do a pod in it, but I don't know if that's going to happen anymore. But we just love it, don't we? We do. Yeah, we, we do love, love, it. love it. We love yeah. it. We love it. Um, Halo Two is in the top three. Not surprising. Yeah, that's that's close Amazing. to like ninety five percent aggregate scores. Yeah, yeah. Uh, San Andreas is second place actually, not first, Ooh. but that's creep again. At high ninety fives uh, basically percentages. Which is the best rated game in two thousand and four? Half Life Two. Yes, uh, has yes. To be. it absolutely has to be. It's again yes. ninety six. Percent is percent is across the board. I would give it hundred percent. It's that good. Hundred percent. I would. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Why not? There's yeah, not a perfect. single flaw with it. No. Um, <laughs> because no. it's it's. I don't really revisit old FPS games often. Mm. I play them, then I've done bish bash bosh. But I've done it about three or four times now. Every sort of three or four years, I get the Halo, uh, the Half Life Two itch, <laughs> and I I feel I have a little go, but I play it all the way through. Nice. Absolutely love it. it, it it's. It's brilliant. The graphics are still yeah. so good for for such an old both, game. Both mm. games are so good. I still want to play Half Life Alex, but that's a VR game, isn't it? Of course. Mm-hmm. Um, right, guys. Just to finish up, we've got a couple of last last bits and bobs. The UK top ten singles. Two thousand and four. Oh, yeah. So I feel like I would have been so out of touch. With I the don't really. I can't. Oh, go on then. I hate go to on. say it, but there's going to be another Maroon Five one in there. Yeah, surely. definitely. Well, Frankie, I'm not going to swear, but it's F U right back. If you write back, yeah, that was Frankie. Yeah, there was two songs. Wasn't oh, there? There was yeah, one which was... I was like an answer to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's oh, the early two thousands. <sighs> oh, then we got Toxic by Britney Spears. Amazing tune. tune. That's a good tune. tune. Then we got Mysterious Girl by Pete Andre. Wait, Amazing tune. Wait, what? <laughs> the re-release? He re-released. Did he? Re-release, mate. Re-release. What, um, oh god, what was the stupid song he did after he came out the jungle? Uh, Insane. Insane. <laughs> that was it. Insane. <laughs> Why do I remember that? <laughs> yeah, why do you remember that? <laughs> Insane. Sorry. <laughs> Anastasia's big hit of the year was? Uh, uh, left Come Outside Alone. Live. Left Outside Alone. <laughs> was it? Left Outside yeah. Alone. There you go. <laughs> left Outside Alone. Um, <laughs> Michelle McManus made it big oh, in 2004. <laughs> Michelle McManus. <laughs> All this time. Who was she? Oh, Wasn't she? She like was a... the X Factor lady, wasn't yeah. she? Oh, X-Factor oh, oh yeah. Scottish yeah. Yes. I remember. Oh man, yeah. Usher featuring Neil Young <laughs> yeah, and Ludacris. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've never heard that one before. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Eric Pritz's "Call on Me." Yes, Call on me. Oh, that was the video with the. Oh, yeah, amazing! The and if you've never seen the video, go video. watch it. Yeah, amazing. Yes, and DJ Casper. Cha Cha no. Slide. No. Cha Cha Slide. Yes. Oh, no. oh no! What number was that? Well, that was number three. Number as, as, a, no. as, a, as a DJ. Previously, not no. even in a previous life. Yeah, uh, that that was that went oh, down rather oh. well at weddings and birthdays. <laughs> right, so Frankie was number ten, and there was yes. Oh, go on. It sounds like Eminem's like slightly dodgy cousin, Eamon. I think it's Eamon. Eamon M. 
Eminem. Eminem. <laughs> F it, I don't want you back. Oh, right, there you go. Yeah, that was... Yeah. I think yeah, it all rings re- 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 yeah. a bell. And there was a follow-up single to that saying, F it, F it. F, F you both. This, I'm F- out of it. F the lot of you. You're all terrible people. <laughs> And then number one, bit of a cop out because it's always going to be number one. Is Band A Twenty with no, Do They Know It's Christmas. Christmas? I don't even know who no, Band A Twenty was. It like Dizzy Rascal was in it, wasn't he? And Dizzy Rascal, it was. It was. It was. Was. It was. It was. I'm was. sure he was, he was. on Dizzy yeah. Rascal. I love a bit of Dizzy no, Rascal. Get rid. Yeah. Boy in the corner. Only, only the original. Sorry. Mm. Mm. No I, I get what they were doing it for, but oh, as far as a song. Yeah, you can't beat it. It wouldn't be a 2004 roundup without a score. Go on, get on with it. You've been yeah. itching to for the did, last did, did, hour. Who, match who, of the day. We can work on match of the day now. Who was the way. 20? Because there's, yeah. no there's vacancies. <laughs> there's vacancies. <laughs> Wasn't good. Wasn't this suggested because you were like, because someone said in the last one, was like, oh, why don't you do a year where Arsenal won the Premier League? We don't win it that often, so. Well, yeah. well, <laughs> no, but match of the day is going through a bit of a crazy time right now. Topical news in in the UK. Um, what's going to well, happen? Well, by the time this comes out, it would have been like a month ago. But yeah, okay. And I'm they sure would have I'm... hired. Who? Let's guess who's going to be their main presenters in the. I reckon they're going to drag out Boris Johnson, Clint, Clinton Morrison. Uh, no, 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 Clinton's too, no, good, Clinton's for too um, good for that. Clinton's too good for that. Wait, Lee Trundle. <laughs> <laughs> Lee Trundle. <laughs> yeah. Who else? Um, tr- uh, um, I'm going to say. Um, who do you reckon? He what, could for, go are back we talking on in footballers or? Well, anyone that could sort of be the punditry. It could be um, Troy Troy Aikman. <laughs> <laughs> Troy Aikman, you get him in. You don't care. Yeah, You'll get the money. Talk about as much sense as he usually yeah. does. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Troy Aikman and Lee Chung. <laughs> wow. The list is the dream team. team. The, the dream list is team. short. <laughs> um, anyway, in 2004, for the first time, uh, well, it's not the first time because technically, um, I think Plymouth Argyle did it in 18 something crazy like that. <laughs> But in 2003-04, it was Arsenal were crowned champions and winning the season without a single defeat. Amazing. The first team ever to do it in a 38-game league season. Mm-hmm. I mean, well done. WWDWDWW. W- w- no, I don't know. It sounds like <laughs> <a> weird, <laughs> code. no losses. Or was it just DD? A lot of draws, though, wasn't it? A lot of draws. 12 draws. I mean... 12 draws. But hey, if they if they were defeats, that's 12 points you lost. And think about it. Your team almost almost ruined it for us because we went for a really dodgy patch. Chelsea knocked us out knocked us out of the Champions League. I think May United knocked us out in the FA Cup, all in space for a week. Mm. Then we played you guys. Can we take the lead? You took the lead, and it then was you two us. one. <laughs> and then Homri said, Enough of that. And I'm rolling up my sleeves. Carol on his backside. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. And that was the turning point. An unbelievable season, which I couldn't properly enjoy because we were crowned champions um, a few games to go, but I couldn't properly enjoy it until the end of the season because I really wanted that undefeated. <laughs> and I've seen the Golden Trophy. I've been to the Emirates Stadium and they actually gave the Golden Trophy to Wenger when he, when, when he left. But I saw it. Yeah, I oh, think nice. he's returned it, but it's kind of like nice a gesture. Touch. Yeah. And it's absolutely incredible achievement. And I know I'm pretty jinxing fate right now. I'd love it. And that was the last time we've won the league. I'd love it. Until I love next it time. in a few months' time. I can, I, I can give. I can say, Dylan, add a, a little edit on that little bit. You won't do it, but because <laughs> you, technically, I'm going to go retrospectively after <laughs> the season. Go back to this podcast because as time of recording, it could change soon. We are top of the league now, Arsenal. They're an interesting team. Mm. They're young and hungry. I still have a gut. Someone should feed them. I give still them a gut feeling we're going to bottle it. I really do. I'm, no. I don't like saying it. I don't. don't say I just can't say. It. I just can't. I don't think it's bottling it if you do. No, it's not bottling. That's harsh. It, yeah. I still think Man City, unfortunately, are going to somehow scrape it. But well, I've you're been welcome. So impressed. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, and of course, Forest helped out a bit as well. You're welcome. They took. A, I mean, we're going to get relegated. We but beat you're City welcome. as well. We haven't done much this year, but we beat City. You did uh, very well. Well, goal. you're welcome. You're Adrian. welcome. Arsenal You're finally beat City. Uh, who won? Who won the FA Cup in that year? No, we- no. Oh, United. I think United. Who won the League Cup? United. No. Oh no, no. Um, Middlesbrough. Yeah, Middlesbrough. Because they uh, played in Europe the next year, didn't they? Oh God. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that? Mm. And Champions League was won by. Oh, oh four. No, I'm happy about the team winning, but I'm not happy about the trajectory it led for the manager. If that makes sense. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Mourinho and Porto. Porto. Yes. I love an underdog uh, winning. I'm happy, but yeah. it, it kind of was the beginning. Yeah, I mean, that was the, do you remember? That was the year when he ran down the touchline at Old Trafford. Uh, it's famous, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it was enjoyable at the time. At the time. That and, was, yeah, 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 at the yeah, time. Yeah. And yeah. UEFA Cup winners was... Valencia. Yeah, well done. Because we then became, Rafa became our manager that summer. 
I've Maybe. always got a little yeah. soft spot for Valencia, actually. I don't know why. I quite like them. Oh, they're in terrible. They're in terrible. Terrible condition now, yeah. We'll be in charge of Valencia and match the day. <laughs> because, we're, because we're very good at football manager. Yes, we are very good. Mm. It cost us our college. It cost almost, you your It was worth it. <laughs> yep. Um, cost me my, cost my, my amazing law, law career that I was <laughs> yeah. wanted. Ali McBill, it's all your fault. Um, guys, that's it for another best of year in gaming. That could mm. be the end of them. I don't know. We'll see how things go. That mm. could be the last. Which was the best year out of those four? I think. 92, of <clears throat> 98, I think, for me. That's such a tricky one because I have, I have so tough, many good actually, memories of yeah. 04. Mm. Yeah, because I had I had I had an Xbox and a PS2, so I was enjoying mm. I was enjoying pretty much Fruit, all yeah. of those all games. Of on that. Yeah. You didn't have a PSP. I did have a PSP oh, okay. actually. Yeah, no, I did. There you I go. P- it's one, one of the lot, eighty-two one. million. Yeah, 80, yeah which we're shocked about. <laughs> yeah. But oh, that's so hard because uh, I, I'm gonna. But purely because of the RTS thing, probably ninety-six. Oh, there you go. I think I think because that sits and because you can if pick you 2004 it, because of Arsenal and then we, okay. yeah, they've all picked one each. There you yeah, go. Let's do that. Then. <laughs> They're all equally the best years. Yes. There's no yeah. best year in there, gaming. There's, oh, there's just so many good things about each of those yeah. years. Though. You mm. can't. It's just so hard to to pick one. But we've picked no odd years, have we? They're all even. Oh, yeah. spooky, spooky. spooky. There you go. Well, guys, let us know what you think. Um, if you agree or disagree, you know, just you know, whatever. You can let us know if you want. We don't really mind. Either way, um, <laughs> it's up to you. We really care either well, way. But I sure, suppose the best if... thing to do would be if we have if there's a year that we haven't done that someone wants That's to shout true. Out, then sa- then put you, set your stall out and say why you think it was the best. Yeah, year. and we're maybe we'll try and if you press, it, if you yeah. bully us, if you twist our arm behind our back and like bullies, we might consider. Well, doing at the very it. least, even if we don't do it, we can have a good old powwow about it on old socials. Mm-hmm. So, get, like, honestly, start but start the fire. Check mm-hmm. first, Arsenal, when they've won trophies, <laughs> make sure it marries no, don't up. Check. Mm-hmm. Don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> we went through a massive period of not winning the trophy, so that's not a good little mm-hmm. thing, is it? Yeah, so. We'll pick one of those years. Then, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for listening to today's podcast. We really hope you enjoyed it. You can tweet us at Arcade Attack UK. We're also on Facebook at facebook.com slash Arcade Attack UK. Check out our website at arcadeattack.co.uk for lots more retro gaming goodness and to delve into our archives. Our podcasts are also available on Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, YouTube and Apple Podcasts. Please leave us a review and a rating. We'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to support Arcade Attack, please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash arcadeattack, which will give you access to exclusive podcasts, interviews, and other bonus content. So, until next time, take care, and we'll speak to you soon.